In my opinion, the future lies in making the best use of limited resources. If you're not thinking about sustainability, then unfortunately you're not relevant. We have a responsibility as consumers to, and as a society, to be utilizing every available resource to us in, a, in an efficient way, in a smart way, in a, uh, in, in a way that is going to allow it to be sustained into the future. It's really interesting that as a society we've lost um, the ability to understand where we get our products from. In my opinion, the future lies in making the best use of limited resources. What my role is as a scientist is to find ways to minimize unwanted aspects that we find happening in animal agriculture and turn them into maybe an asset. So here at the University of California in Davis, we're doing research to further minimize the environmental footprint of livestock. In these very buildings that you see over here, we study how we can reduce let's say belching from cattle or their manure emissions, how we can turn something that was so far seen as a liability into an asset. And that is absolutely possible. It's called a digester. The biogas is now trapped and then converted into a fuel type for vehicles. We can reduce unwanted emissions from the livestock sector by 30, 40, 50 percent within the next five years and we will and we must. We as an industry have been moving uh, all of our processes towards the right way, the ethical way, the responsible way of tanning uh, these hides and skins into leather so that we have less impact on the environment. Consumers need to know more or to know what the industry knows about leather, what the real meaning of leather and where this, so a choice can be made. So I think brands have a real responsibility now to make sure that Anything that they're saying is demonstrable and verifiable. And we have to move away from greenwashing because it's really harming our industry. It, it, our goal with this project is that all leather is sustainable and the consumer shouldn't have to choose between sustainable or ethical or not. Sustainability is the only conversation in fashion right now. If you're not thinking about sustainability, then unfortunately you're not relevant. How do we look at the industry in a responsible way? It's to reuse and, and repurpose. Heritage brands have made their money on an older generation that now have children and grandchildren of their own. So at, at, their, at some point they have to start to think about the changing attitudes within the demographic that they're going for. I feel like Schott is known for their American-made quality. We've been around since 1913, so the main goal has been to always make sure that anything that we do is purposeful and with intention. I think leather is a fabric that people consider because you can't just throw them away. It's always reusable. You can always try to find a way to patch it up. You can always find a way to make it work. Even if it rips, it doesn't mean the leather itself is ruined. More people are now getting used to or even trying to buy vintage pieces because of how soft they become or just because of how they've aged. And so um, it's all about recycling and reusing cons consistently. This is our one of the vintage pieces that we've had in our archives for a little bit. I believe Ralph Lauren wore it in a photo shoot. And so this is like something that has just like aged really well. They clearly customized it. They made it their own. A couple of great examples of, of brands that I've worked a lot with in the past are their repair services. Um, these are brands that have been around for a long time. Uh, they deal in quality and they give consumers the ability to send products back in for repair and refurbishment. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> so this is the beast. This is the uh, the one. Oh, what do we need to get done? Well, the obviously the buttonhole, the tearing of the lining, mm -hmm. and then just the pocket 
you know. But the biggest thing about this, though, and this is the thing, this jacket has been through bloody hell, okay? <laughs> Nowhere is the leather ripped. Nowhere is the, and that's the, it's cowhide, like it's heavy, like it's no light. It's not a joke. It's no joke, but literally like almost bulletproof. We, we have a great opportunity in our, in our hands right now. Uh, the future is not defined. There's an opportunity to, to make leather, um, to enhance the, 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 the importance as a material. So what we have now is a huge amount of access. You might be able to go onto an app and take something straight from somebody's wardrobe that they have worn and loved in the past, before you were even born. So at the end of the day, if you're recycling and reusing, then you're not putting it into landfill. And that's really exciting. My hope is there is not a single hide or skin that results from our food production system going into a landfill anywhere in the world. Uh, where should we buy leather is a good question. We should buy leather everywhere, anywhere, from retail, from, you know, Amazon Marketplace, from eBay, from any, anywhere.